Today's workshop is on the energy policy framework. Um, this year, we initiated a process to update our energy policy for the country of Belize. The last energy policy was dated in 2011, so we are going through the update of that policy. That new policy will take us from the year 2023, when we believe it will be approved in the first quarter of next year, that's what we're aiming for. It will take us all the way up to 2044 at least. Um, within that, we have several goals. Uh, one of the primary goals is to have 75% of all electricity produced in the country from renewable energy resources by the year 2030. So to fit in line with that, um, the, the COP27 and COP26 uh, agreements? That is correct. Actually, um, we updated our national determined contributions to be in line with that. And the policy is following that line right now. This policy is stated around um, seven main pillars. These are all centered around having greater energy security when it comes to electricity generation, generation from more renewable energy sources, also, the choice of, of generation, such as um, how to see how we can allow distributed generation within the country. So that means your rooftop solar is for both residents, commercials, industry. We're also looking at energy security, such as fuels for vehicles, um, hydrocarbons. But we're also looking at emerging technologies, such as electric transportation, both in the private and the public sector. So these are just some of the lines that are at the core of the energy policy that we're discussing today. The energy policy for our country is a critical milestone in how it's, it builds its energy transition pathway. Um, at this stage, we think we are about 50% of the way. We have a green paper. Uh, that is now publicly available, that Green Paper was endorsed by Cabinet for the use of um, the, the principles to do consultations. And um, that Green Paper is what we are, um, in a sense, um, looking at with the stakeholders today. The expectation is that the stakeholders will provide um, feedback, not just through this consultation, but through written form to the Green Paper that we will then incorporate um, into the work that is going to go into developing uh, the white paper, the full um, policy going forward. Um, the expectation based on the current um, state of where we are is that we would have a draft policy or a white paper available at the end of the year, meaning by the, the end of December 2022. Um, hopefully, you know, we will take that through the rounds of consultations and eventually bring that through to the cabinet for its consideration sometime in first quarter of 2023.